హలో ఎవ్రీబడి వెల్కమ్ టు శంకర ఏఎస్ అకాడమీ సో దిస్ ఇస్ కార్తికేయన్ పాలిటీ ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద స్ట్రాటజీ ఫార్ ఫిల్మ్స్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు పాలిటీ సో ద నెక్స్ట్ ట్వంటీ డేస్ సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద థింగ్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రివైజ్ అండ్ హౌ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రియారిటైజ్ థింగ్స్ విచ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ స్టడీ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ విచ్ యూ కెన్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ యూపీఎస్సి all right so it's all about the strategy it's not about the content it's not about teaching some topics fine we'll straight away go first of all about the sources so what are the sources you need to focus on for the next 20 days so as far as the sources as i said like i have prioritized so this is the order you should study if you study in this way it would be better so the first thing is previous year question papers so most of you would have gone through the previous year question papers and this is the time to revise those previous year question papers also for those people who don't know the significance or the value of previous year question papers so i'm going to have a comparison from 2011 to 2021 and you know the reason why i have taken this period from 2011 to 2021 because so there was a major change in 2011 so i am confined to that specific part alone from 2011 to 21 so how the questions were been repeated in these phases now to start with so this is one question about constitutional government this question about constitutional government they asked in 2014 on a basis of a two statement question all right so whether it is a kind of restriction on individual in the interest of state authority or it is a restriction on the state authority in the interest of individual liberty you see this question was rephrased and it was asked subsequently you see the exactly the question about constitutional government it was asked in 2020 also they asked the definition so how they use the word restriction here they use the word limited and the very next year in 2021 this year again they asked constitutional government means what so means a government which is limited by the terms of the constitution you see one concept called constitutional government so within a period of 10 years they asked thrice and that to the same thing the meaning of that similarly questions related to right to privacy they asked in 2017 after that in 2018 i mean and again they asked in a couple of years in 2020 also similarly lot many questions have been repeated so the first reason like you need to study the previous year question papers for the next 20 days is because so you'll get to know that like what upc will ask number one the second thing is that like there is very much chances of questions being repeated there are so many occasions not just in polity in other subjects also the same question is repeated even without a change of a word so please and if you are lucky this year like you might even get such questions in other subjects also in polity also and don't leave out the options also always see the other options also read those options and read from those options the other content also all right so what people use usually used to do they used to see the correct answer alone okay a constitutional government means okay this is what now what you call it as a government who enjoys who said enjoys only a nominal power as such like in the case of head of the state enjoys only a nominal power right so in this case like we call it as a parliamentary form because parliament being more you know you know in the case of like uh, being um, supreme but here they are asking about government who said like so generally here it refers to what the prime minister prime minister enjoys a nominal means it's the other way so you have to kind of differentiate these things okay? so find out the right content or the content related to the other options also don't leave out other options also in all the questions don't leave out the other options find out the right answers as well as find out the relevant content why the other statements are incorrect and what are the correct relevant statements also this is the way you have to kind of prepare the previous question papers the second thing is about ncrt so you know the last 5 years trend like so many questions have been asked from ncrt and that too from the political theory books also this is a common question people asking sir 
is it enough to read the 11th and 12th but it is not enough just it's better to start from 6 at least from 8th standard so lot many questions have been asked from 8th 9th and 10th also so by this time like no even if you did not read ncrt it will take just hours to kind of revise because already you must have studied either lakshmi kant or any other standard textbooks your your um, class notes or even academic textbooks like shankar and all like like you must have studied those things right most preferably people have gone for lakshmi kant d d basu subhas kashyap so etc etc now after studying this one so you go for ncrt because like no so i'll tell you why reading ncrt is very important even if you have not read it go through give a glance at least once i'll tell you the reason why you see this question in 2017 is about fundamental right i'm sorry right to vote this question is about right to vote in this question right to vote like uh, this was one of the most contested question debated question you know the interesting thing people went to the court also supreme court also this is very ambiguous uh, and that year the question was very ambiguous there are three to four questions which are very ambiguous so that people went to the court asking for the key and supreme court you know uh, dismissed that petition saying that like let upsc gives that key at the right time maybe after the examinations when questions like this it was discussed like no so people quoted a lot of judgments related to that this judgment they have given as a legal right in some judgments they given as a not a fundamental right in some judgments they given as a constitutional right now what is the answer for this one but you see that this is a directly taken from ncrt upsc went with the ncrt facts you see this the question of the source of this question is it's taken from the 9th standard ncrt of social science called as democratic politics textbook in that chapter 5 in the democratic rights chapter page number 87 so they have given this one so right to vote in elections is important constitutional right so you must have studied right later on about like the difference between constitutional right and fundamental right as well as legal rights the classifications why it is called as a constitutional right article 326 all these things you must have studied but you see the very simple logic they did not they did not rely upon any judgments they relied upon ncrt upsc relies upon ncrt that is the key so whatever you studied already in lakshmi kant or whatever it is you cross check with what is in ncrt give preference to those topics first that is the point similarly question about liberty also so last few years so many questions about liberty you see in that also so the answer for this question was opportunity to develop oneself fully and most people went for absence of restraint also but you see ultimately it is also taken from ncrt because the question is about like the most appropriate statement again it is taken from ncrt political science chapter from political theory book of 11th standard all right so they have kind of given two dimensions or two aspects of freedom so studying ncrt is very important rather than saying studying revising i hope you have studied so please do do that and the next one is about bar act now what is the meaning of bar act here i am speaking about the just the constitutional provisions so what are the constitutional provisions you have to go through if you go to online like there are so many websites and especially legislative.gov.in you find the actual document of constitution wherein you can kind of go through cross check it so whatever you have studied already cross check with information give preference priority to those things all right so download it you type it as constitution of india bar act pdf so legislative.gov.in there will be constitution updated thing so whatever it is from the bar act you can kind of study that there are so many occasions where have they have taken exactly from the bar act and then they have given it so even though that is given in lakshmi kant also but give preference to those things which are there in the bar act that is the point so in the bar act also in the very act of the constitution now what you have to study because like it has so many articles it starts from article 1 to 395 right so where you have to focus on which you have to focus on first of all you have to focus on the articles upsc have time and again asked about the articles also so for instance in 2019 they asked about the article related to 
so even though it was kind of quite difficult especially for those non law students and um, so for those people who do not have a kind of complete understanding about article 142 which speaks about a complete justice in order to do complete justice supreme court can give directions this was one of the kind of you know a challenging question only but still unless you know you don't know what about article 142 it's kind of very difficult even though you can answer this logically sometimes but if you know about article 142 it was a cake walk similarly questions related to in this year again so people like you no know, most people like went for a choice between 32 and 14 and it needs a lot of understanding also so in this question also people like you no know, so it was never mentioned about equality but it was related to equality again there was a difficulty uh, there was a kind of debate also with respect to this question so for these questions again you see unless you know the article you cannot give an answer because you have to know what is article 14 what is article 32 what is article 44 uniform civil code with respect to article 32 it's about right to constitutional remedies and article 14 equality with respect to 28 about religion so only if you know this one you can kind of at least try to attempt to write an answer at least you can eliminate at least these two options so upsc is asking the articles also now if you want to get say 10 out of 10 or say 15 out of 15 questions right so this is one of the effort you have to put it you have to study the articles also especially in the fundamental rights part they don't ask beyond that some exceptional cases like 142 they asked it but generally speaking you have to focus on the fundamental rights part direct principles till the time of fundamental duties next one about the chapters now what are the chapters you have to focus on so constitution is divided into two kind of you know parts parts into chapters chapters into kind of articles so upsc has asked questions about the chapters also so what are the chapters for instance i'll, I'll tell you say part 3 speaks about fundamental rights and it has several chapters general provisions right to equality freedom equality from 14 to 18 freedom from 19 to 22 right against exploitation 23 24 freedom of religion 25 to 28 cultural and educational rights 29 and 30 and with respect to uh, constitutional liberties article 32 so all these things they have given these are the chapters you see upsc have asked these chapters also for instance right against exploitation normally so it is answered as this and right but people like sometimes they thought like okay even untouchable is also it's kind of against exploitation so they they thought like that but it comes in a right against or right to equality that is under article 17 so people made a mistake by adding 1 to 4 also so you have to be very sure you have to read the chapters and again you have to more focus on the fundamental rights and other part and similarly in 2020 they asked about like no so untouchability is under what you see again it's kind of connection they asked about untouchability in 2017 you have to negate it and similarly they asked okay untouchability is under which chapter okay so that is what so they are asking these things that is the chapters you have to focus on that also next one is about the schedules as far as the schedules you know it's very 12 only schedules and all but time and again they are asking it's very easy if you study by heart these schedules like they were asked in 2014 so what is anti defection related to and uh, related to like in 2019 like what is related to the tribal things and all so it's very easy very easy questions they've been asking from tribe schedules and all so you have to study the schedules also and the amendments also this is one of the question like you no know, most of the students are asking so what are the amendments do i need to by heart all the 104 amendments no not required so in ncert 11th standard indian constitution at work there is a chapter called as constitution as a living document in that they have mentioned so many amendments so study those amendments and the very important amendments related to say reservations related to major changes in the legislature election so these things like anti defection so you can study those things but everything is given in ncert so go through the ncert first and the recent amendments also for instance 97th amendment is struck down partially i mean so you have to go through that also so amendment question they have asked so many times with based on you see direct principles also so which one of the following was added by 42nd they are asking that also so the more you put effort in uh, if you if you know it's about 43a then it's very easy as such so it's again you have to kind of by heart the articles also and the amendments also similarly they have asked about amendments you know let to 44th 99th which was struck down which is so much news 99 which you have to because it is related to 
NJAC, right? So, these things very important amendments you have to. So, if you want to get a full marks in that, so you have to attend, you have to study, fine. And the next one after this one, so after studying like the previous year question papers, then the Barat, in that like the articles, the chapters, the schedules and the amendments giving priority to those things then based on newspapers actually so by this time like i don't think so you are not going to kind of revise is a study anything new that is something like you should not do that so you have to study the newspapers revise the newspapers which is already done so newspapers based how the questions have been asked so for instance with respect to this question in 2018 so there are two facts which not many people know but with the help of the third one you can write it but where is the third one comes in because there is no leader of opposition in the present parliament also the previous parliament also that is Lok Sabha I mean, not parliament the, the present Lok Sabha as well as the previous Lok Sabha so so many discussions so many articles appeared in every newspaper every newspaper so you have to kind of go, go through that like what is the kind of minimum required and also based on which if you know that like by based on one statement okay by eliminating one statement you would have got to answer and you are not supposed to require to study the facts and all again one logic Similarly, the other questions related to again elections because elections we have a separate chapter you have to study the representation of people's act also and they are also they are not asking directly from the provisions sometimes they are asking but mostly application oriented. How the application oriented like you no know, with respect to constituencies normally you see um, Prime Minister Modi also Rahul Gandhi also so they contested in uh, two seats in 2014 and 2019 you can see that like so a lot many uh, leaders of national pol political parties as well as state parties they used to kind of contest more than two two sorry, uh, two seats not more than two seats two seats so based on which a lot many articles appears like you no know, election commission proposed a kind of like uh, certain measures so based on that only they asked so when you are reading the newspapers what you have already read you ensure like what is the proposal what is the current law also be it in elections, be it in anything. That is something you have to do that. Focus on that. And mostly these are uh, asked as multiple statement questions. And you can see that in, in, uh, in both the questions, they are asking one fact. And without knowing the fact, you can answer. And only if you know one, any, 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 anything which uh, present law is there, any proposal is there. So similarly, this question also. So you are not required to know the facts. So keep in mind while answering when it is a three statement question always look out for the in eliminate the incorrect option a wrong option wrong answer so by which you will definitely get an answer all right there will be one clue in among the three statements and mostly not in the factual statements but in the non-factual analytical things where you can apply the logic and the next one is about official websites so what does it mean official websites you need to study all the official websites but you see in the about us page of the constitutional bodies or statutory bodies even election commission's website so they are asking questions not just in polity people even in other subjects also like geography they are asking like to current affairs they are asking even economics also they ask so how to use the official website how the questions have been asked frame we'll see a few questions so 2012 a question was asked about delimitation commission it was not there in ncrt it was not there in any other things. Delimitation Commission was mentioned. All right, but you see the answer actually it was exactly kind of taken. All right, from these official things. And you see right now it is given in Lakshmi Kant also. So he has updated a lot many things you see, but previously prior to two you know there are a lot many editions right so third edition and all so a lot many things were not added it was subsequently added so that is the thing i am saying that uh, first of all go through the official websites and then study them similarly questions led to cabinet secretary one of the most unexpected question so people used to study this uh, from say india yearbook and some people say the source is taken from india yearbook some of the things are mentioned there but actually you see these things it is exactly taken from the official website again 
subsequently the very next year they asked about in 2014 they asked about cabinet secretary in subsequent year they asked one question about the prime minister is the ex officio chairman of civil services board the previous line they asked so don't just study whatever it is given study the other things also there is a chance they could ask in the subsequent years also so study those very important constitutional bodies statutory bodies or those things which is not covered in ncrt or lakshmikant even if it is covered in lakshmikant no need to study the entire points first first give preference to those points given here then you can study the other points i don't say that no need to study lakshmikant give preference to those things here it is mentioned and the other things second b all right next one so the next common question is whether i need to study the case law sir that is also depends case law based questions have been asked in prelims previously they used to ask exact cases also in 1990s and all they used to ask bijoy monal case and some cases related to fundamental rights also bijoy monal case related to article 19 but even after 2011 based on the current of his they are asking case laws especially after the putta swami judgment in 2017 they asked about right to privacy and uh, the hardiest case the hardiest case uh, known as the uh, the lau jihad case also in that case like again based on the judgment it came in 2018 they asked this question in 2019 so you have to study you have to study the case laws based on the current affairs based on the significance all right so these things like right to marry the person of one choice they said no no so everyone anyone like who is turned 18 no matter she has kind of embraced any religion she has the right to marry all right so that is what right to marry a person of one's choice so all these things it was kind of it was spoken widely and that is the reason why upsc has asked it is a, it's all very easy questions provided you have studied read these things and the next one what we going to see is like after seeing the sources okay this is the order of the sources after reading all those things now what about the textbook you have it be it the notes you have it be it the standard textbooks like lakshmikanth you have studied or else your academic textbooks what you studied so you kind of give importance to these things first and then you read the other things next okay so it's it's saying that like the reason why i say that less so in ncert is kind of very much limited but lakshmikanth it's very much bigger and in lakshmikanth like only the very certain things are very important based on which questions are asked there are lot of relevant but not so important stuff which may or may not be asked but ncert it is going to be very useful and similarly current affairs again there are going to be few questions as such so there are certain things which is going to be intersection intersection means like which is covered in both all these three things so first of all give priority to ncert and before that to previous question papers it is very much limited again all right then the barrack then lakshmika so again the newspapers are here i'm sorry i missed the newspapers also as well as finally you should study lakshmi kanth or whatever it is you are laying upon new okay this is order now we'll see like how the kind of questions what type of questions been asked okay so the first thing is like about static versus current affairs and most of the questions are people static questions only mostly static only very few current affairs i can say it's less than 10 percentage sometimes 5 percentage also so if they ask 10 questions hardly one questions or two questions sometimes even if they kind of very direct current affairs is very rare so current affairs related static portion is what so you have to focus on the static portions so this is what so don't focus too much on current affairs i'm saying that no this is the trend from the last 10 years maybe upsc might change but i'm telling you the trend so focus on the static portions first then you can go for the current affairs so current affairs related static portions then exactly the current affairs secondly about factual versus analytic most of the questions it's undisputed facts you have to choose the right thing but some of the questions are analytical but this is where people make a lot of mistakes and what kind of mistakes people used to make it you see fine this is one of the example of a direct factual question this is a factual questions related to liberty and everyone knows the answer is like economic liberty it is very simple very simple factual It's, it doesn't take more than 10 seconds to kind of answer this one no problem more than 90% of the people will definitely write it correct 
But this question, you see, this is also related to liberty, but it was very tricky. And lot many people, they gave answers A, B, C, D differently. And, and the moment you see people giving different answers, it's a tough one. So this interpretative type, analytical type, which you apply, unless you're very sure, 100% sure, do not give an attempt. You see, out of 10 questions, definitely there is going to be one or two questions like this one. If you're unsure, if you don't know anything about it, if you're unsure, maybe even if you get two options, you, you kind of kind of go with two options like mostly people come with this 50 50 options like try to not write it maybe if you're kind of lagging very if you don't kind of get don't get enough numbers to do that like maybe you can go for it unless and until you don't go for it and the second one is about see familiar and unfamiliar questions like familiar questions means those things which you have studied which you know something about it even if you can manage the logic as such but unfamiliar questions never go for it there are so many instances where it has gone wrong like in the case of chief secretary no, no one expected that question it was not in any of the textbooks and most people thought this is okay governor being the head of the state like you know he's a kind of like everything is everything is every decision is taken in the name of a governor people thought that could be the right answer but it went wrong you see and that too you see the upsc has a trick like they used to ask the difficult questions unfamiliar questions in a two statement questions so if there is a two statement questions there is a word of caution okay unless you are very sure don't attempt it and that too if it is unfamiliar leave it never think about a second what could be possible this is a kind of a trap and similarly this year they asked about again the two statement questions led to Gopal Swami Iyengar no one expected this one it's one of the toughest questions no one could find the source here why they have asked this question here Maybe people could relate to something else like you know, some indirect correlations with respect to current affairs, ARC report, all these things. But still, you know, you're not expected to study all these committees. It's not possible to study all the committees and all the recommendations. UPC has never asked such questions before with respect to political least. Even with respect to Panchayat Raj, it's not expected to study every committees and all. So they used to ask very less only. In fact, very little or not at all. So by because of this, you should not focus more on the committees. Let them ask one or few committees. Because you, you have to get 50 to 60 percentage of marks only, right? Not the 100 percentage, right? So you can leave, you have that liberty to leave these questions. So please be very careful in your two statement questions. So unless we are very sure about it, don't go for it. Unfamiliar questions. Never go for it. And the other one is about direct and indirect questions. So how to write these direct and indirect questions? So direct questions means I'll give an example here. This question is about nine schedule. That is one direct question and indirect questions. So direct questions you can directly ask it with one thing with respect to validity and what exactly is nine schedule is all about. The second thing is about nine schedule was introduced. So how to answer this question? So you need to kind of by heart like which, which amendment, which year, who, during which period, not at all required. So this question is like only if you know like nine schedule when it happened because it is a very important schedule. So it happened in first amendment constitution first amendment so when constitution first amendment came like which during whose period so definitely you know that like no it's a very easy like definitely not indira gandhi um, shastri desai it is jawal nehru so it's an indirect question it's a kind of an application of logic so upsc has asked these questions rather than asking directly they used to ask indirectly just think of what a moment they asked similar questions with respect to tribunals also once so you have to know that so what exactly about like indirectly so apply some logic you can get the answers so but based on that don't study like when the summon mood was made during which period and all so apply logically of course 40 second during the time of whom 44 during the time of whom so based on that you can answer it the next important tricky part comes with respect to correct and most appropriate answers you know mostly people used to get easy questions or kind of difficult questions so like mostly the UPSC used to ask like give the statements and they ask what are the correct answers correct statements and all and sometimes they used to give what are the incorrect or not correct statements and sometimes they used to kind of give in bold italics letters also so don't make that mistake number one but where is more tricky is that the best and most appropriate now here is also a lot many people have like lost the marks to two questions three questions they have not noticed oh after the examination oh i forgot this one somehow this this will happen so many times but here with respect to most and best best or most appropriate the last 
you know, five, six years trend, if as he has asked. Again, very careful in these questions. See, for instance, this question is about liberty, which you already see in that, like most appropriate. As I said, like even though this is also right, the other dimension, so this is maybe a kind of a negative dimension, so positive dimension is this one. So both make sense for liberty. So when there is a negative dimension and a positive dimension, you have to go for a positive dimension, right? So that is the reason why. So you have to look out for the words most appropriate, best defines. So more than, it's not about the correct answer, it's about the perfect answer. Similarly, like with respect to like best defines the state again. So even the other statements could be possibly right. They're asking the best among these four options. Again, you have to be very careful. Again, people can easily eliminate two options. There is always problem between the two options. You have to be very careful. Unless you are very sure, don't go for it. A lot many times this has happened. So these are the questions people have made. Lot many mistakes, people. So please don't do that. Avoid it. Next about like multiple statement questions. Like UPSC have asked like uh, you know single statement questions also. Two statement, three statement, four statement, five statements also. But what is the trend? How they have asked it from 2011 to 2021? If you see that like it's it's starting from so these are the number of questions per year they asked it and uh, this is about like statements one statement question two statement question number of statements okay you see more mostly mostly they ask very simple straightforward single statement questions because the more number of multiple statement questions they use like you you have to spend a lot of time also and and you see among this also the toughest being based on the kind of previous years like how I have written it how my friends have written it my students have written it and this is what the trend I've seen like this is two statement question is most difficult but sometimes it is very easy you see in 2016 when they asked it was easy some questions was very tough but not every time because you see that was the only time like you no know, more than a single statement more than two statement question was asked but apart from that like most of the multiple this is again mostly easy because of elimination there is one option which is you can, you can, you can easily eliminate or sometimes it, it goes like this one, all the options can be right. And these options also possibly it is very easy to eliminate, find it one things. But these are things where you have to be very careful again because like unless you don't know the answer, you cannot go for it. All right. So this is what you see more than, okay, barring few occasions like uh, this, this year and this year, okay, always half of the questions will be very straight, simple forward. So expect th those questions and um, based on which you can answer it and this these questions very careful two statement questions very careful about it and three four five mostly try to answer it you can get it right and sometimes you have to apply logicals there are some areas where you can start you cannot study entire thing for instance the question about say consumer protection act you are not a lawyer to study entire provisions but you can apply this with the logic so it's about taking samples for food testing all right, so there is no fee. All right, in case of a death of a consumer, legal hair. So these are logic, right? So normally from uh, father to his legal hair, uh, maybe son or daughter to uh, other people, like it can kind of go on. So definitely uh, the case also kind of can go from this person to his legal hairs. So whether fee cannot be there or not. So what if like, you no know, a consumer maybe person who's buying a, um, uh, kind of a Rolls Royce also, even a 10 rupee pen also. All right, so why there should not be any fee? So apply some logic. Like, so you, you should not study all these provisions of all the laws. There are so many rights related uh, things they've asked, like PESA, like uh, FRA, Forest Rights Act. Um, PESA stands for uh, Panchayat Extension Areas. But these are mentioned in NCRT and you have to go through that. But these provisions, uh, even though it is mentioned in NCRT is like economics and other things, but they have asked this based on the logic. You have to know that. And for instance, like UDHR, UDHR they, they mentioned about in NCRT also. But the question is not again, uh, you're, you're not expected to study all the uh, UDHR principles, it's not possible. But again, so again, based on the logic again, so education should be there, food should be there, okay. And uh, so you have a question doubt about equal access to public service means. If at all you have a doubt means definitely you know that like human rights food education so if one and three option has to be there means what so is there any option with one and three maybe you can think about it but there is no if, if if one and three should be there the only option is one two and three there definitely can go for it so apply logic so logically you can answer these sort of questions fine so this is the way you have to answer 
Now with respect to easy, easy, medium or difficult questions, so that is actually very subjective that depends on the persons to persons. If you have studied, covered everything, revised 3 to 4 times, sometimes people use to revise for 10 times also, whatever you have studied, not just one textbook. So it may be easy for you, sometimes people make a silly mistakes also, sometimes people don't study the interpretative part in CRTs. So easy, medium, difficult, it depends on their effort they put, their perspective. It is very subjective, depends from person to person. So, but UPSC more than 50 percentage, I can tell you guarantee, it is easy questions only. If you have studied properly that minimal thing, definitely it is very easy. And sometimes it can extend to 70 percentage also. This medium or difficulty depends on again, if it is very unfamiliar difficulty, do not attempt it. One or two questions mostly that depends on your maybe this year how many questions they are going to ask. It may be sometimes they as low as five they have asked, as, as high as 22 they have asked. So it depends on it. So always expect that difficult questions will be there. If it is only five questions, like maybe one question, maybe sometimes. If it is 10, 12 questions, 20 questions, they can be possibly four questions, five questions could be possibly difficult. Leave it, not an issue at all. If, if they ask 20 questions out of that, like five doesn't matter but if it is only five you can't leave five like definitely there has been some three four questions to be wrong right that is something you have to focus on so easy medium difficult again puts on your this this test your effort so now what are the key takeaways what you should do people number one after studying that so previous question papers ncrt's barrett then like uh, the case laws related to that the current affairs newspapers then whatever Lakshmi Kant you studied like any standard textbooks other standard textbooks whatever it is you studied DDB also Bakshi um, Kashyap uh, your textbooks or your notes handwritten notes also so do that accordingly develop it don't study the one anything new This is very important. So, revise as well as prioritize. Prioritize the things which you have to. All right. And attend the mock test. So, mock test wherever it is possible, like you now we are Shankar, like we are conducting uh, across 13 places, we are conducting it. So, whenever it is possible, you can. And if it is not available, it is online, it is also there, or any other academies whichever you wish to so you please do attend the mock test like you no know, so mock test like it will give you kind of a platform like you no know, so for instance we are kind of connecting in the schools so you'll get the real environment like you'll get all the disturbances exact the time limit uh, so how you are going to kind of cope up like you no know, for these days like you would have you would have kind of written in your institute but that is very different like you have to go to that uh, school environment college environment you have to accustom with the noises like whatever the disturbances you have to do that okay attending mock test is very important like you will get to know how the questions could be asked like how you kind of revised and other things and also and uh, the next thing about so calmness and composure so this is something very important people maintain calmness composure throughout the examination so you'll be kind of having have the all the highs also lows also sometimes you get a very easy question what is uh, anti-defection led to 10 schedule very high sometimes they ask about chief secretary so now they have studied but previously it was very difficult so you kind of think about it and sometimes they ask about 140 to what you don't know so suddenly getting low high so it will kind of like uh, waver your mind also i mean like uh, not waver your mind as such like you no know, increase your you know this adrenaline sometimes like high and low at um, some some highs means like you're excited some lows means disappointments but you maintain the stability that is the key to the examination upc plays a mind game upc is basically a mind game so things which you are not sure don't attend things which are sure attended and lot many people ask about see the questions number of questions to be attended what are the number of questions to be attended no this is something it depends on it you cannot play like no you cannot go to a cricket pitch where saying that so if there is a very bowling pitch you can't expect to score like uh, in a 50 over game like uh, 450 score 300 score that's not possible right so it has to be you, you have to maybe there may be some c moment initially 
later on there may be turn due factor you lot of factors are there similarly in the case in the case of examinations competition so lot many factors are there so you decide wisely in the examination so by the time you attend the, some two to three mock tests you'll get to know that like how many questions you should attend so how difficult is that and also you'll get to know that based on the result based on the people how they are enough giving the suggestions all right so number of questions like it depend on it like so sometimes people i know so many people even myself also once i cleared with just uh, giving 65 questions also sometimes i i cleared with giving 88 questions also that depends on it and sometimes i failed with that numbers also so it depends on it so you decide that based on the kind of thing but if you want to decide that how the question is going to be one while you enter the examination have full confidence in yourself and full faith in yourself okay so i have studied completely polity to my best to my knowledge i have studied completely i have revised very nice so if if i get some questions which i don't know which i think about very unfamiliar okay other people also might not know it so better leave it you should have that confidence if you have that confidence you can definitely go get in through people so that is something you have to keep in mind have faith in confidence if you study have faith in yourself like i know everything i have studied everything so that is not kind of like you know you are not kind of taking everything into your head but you that is about confidence it's not about over confidence it's about confidence that will help you a lot all right and uh, be smart also don't be emotional when i say it's smart don't be emotional oh i'm a political science student i'm a law student i should i, I should give like uh, 15 out of 15 20 out of 20 5 out of 5 out of polity because my faculty will ask oh you being a kind of political science how you missed it you being a law student how you missed it no be it you are a history student don't feel bad about like you no know, even if you don't know a few questions in history also geography also and this is about polity i'm saying this also they have a difficulty definitely people they make a mistake even the option students also now don't have that sort of an ego i should kind of like complete everything no this is not you see every time you always keep in mind your cut off is not 100 90 80 it's just 50 percentage to 55 sometimes it may be 60 percentage okay it's hovering around that like year by year maybe at the maximum 60 percentage but this time paper may be easy also but depends on the question so you have to decide there based on the nature of the questions what are the topics you have studied and based on which all right so this is how you have to prepare people and uh, so in case you have any doubts like we'll kind of send you uh, in the description you see the description like we have given you uh, mail id to contact in case you have any doubts queries related to your preparation with respect to polity we are very happy to answer these questions queries so do try to attend our mock test also or any mock test which is very convenient we are providing both online also offline also so all the very best to you people hope this video is very helpful stay safe all right uh, wear your mask so go to your uh, respective centers visit them once so which area it is like there is a possibility of like uh, two or more centers having the same name so go and visit them so how you going to spend this 3 uh, hours in between the uh, gs and the csat don't discuss anything immediately after the gs so some common things common things you most of the teachers like uh, they would have given you your seniors would have given you well wishes would have given you so please go through all these tips all right all the very best my heart wishes and prayers for you people thank you everyone